What's up guys, TM Tech Tips here and in today's video we are going to be spray painting our Xbox 360 controllers. Now we're going to kind of do this a step by step. So first of all we're going to tell you what you need. Now obviously you need your 360 controllers, you need your uh, multi-purpose screwdriver set and it's vital that it has a T8 which is here. You will also need something to use this with, so for today's video we're going to be using this kind of rig here. You're also going to need your spray paint, you want to spray, uh, you want to paint your controller. So for me I'm going to be using a glossy white background with a uh, blue highlights and like a blue speckled effect and Dan is going to be using silver with blue. So you also, because we are doing two controllers, we've got our pots for our screws so we don't lose them, so green for me, pink for Dan. And finally you're going to need some sandpaper. Now this is just to lightly kind of sand down the controller to give something for the paint to hold on to. So um, without further ado guys, let's get into this. So guys, to assemble the rig we're going to be using, we have this slider here, and we're gonna connect this to a square, to, uh, I believe that's hexagonal, um, uh, bolt, so we're just gonna plug that in there, if it'll let me, there we go. And then you're going to need your T8 security screw with the hole at the end. And that's just going to slide in all the way like that. And that's basically the tool we'll be using to disassemble the controllers. So guys, uh, we're going to begin disassembly of our controllers. So because um, uh, we're basing this, it's all my idea, we're going to start with my controller. So that if anything goes wrong, Dan's controller is going to be fine. So, uh, yeah, first of all, uh, you guys will have a sticker that looks like this on your, uh, just there. You need to remove that to get to the seventh screw. So now we're just going to work away with the T8 screw and uh, get this all undone. So guys, we ran into some slight difficulties. These two bottom screws, which are the last two we've got, um, they're actually too deep for our uh, T8 bit. It won't, it won't uh, bite. So um, we're gonna have to figure out a way to get those two screws out. But um, apart from that, all of the other ones come out perfect. So uh, just bear that in mind when you're doing your. So guys, um. We've had an issue, first of all we tried to uh, kind of make the hole bigger, but that still didn't work and uh, it'll be fine because we'll sand it. But, um, eventually what we found that worked was just getting a normal T8, which isn't the security, and basically knocking it in until it got a grip, and then taking it out a little bit, and then getting it out the rest of the way with the, uh, the specialised one, because that way the, the screw's slightly mucked up, but um, better than a, a broken controller so uh, yeah we'll carry on
Sorry guys, uh, you've just seen us start to spray them. Um, they're going to be in proper coats, but this is what they're starting to look like. So um, over here you've got Dan's uh, blue components, and then you've got my components, and then you've got Dan's silver, and then over here you have my white. So as you can probably tell, they need a couple of coats yet. But um, you can really start to put the difference in weight in the can, so uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes out. Um, glossy white but um, at the moment we're still waiting for it to dry because down here is slightly sticky towards the bottom where it's not fully dried um, so it's really really smooth really nice so uh that one because of its silver kind of chromey color the sanding has come through but it still looks really nice and it's really reflective you can see that You've also got some blue splatter. Yeah, blue blue splatter. This is what I was going to do on the white one, but it didn't look good enough. Uh, over here, we have the blue part. So yeah. this is the blue part for the bottom. the bottom of Dan's controller. It's also really nice. So uh, yeah. Tom also has the same. Just mine's a bit. It doesn't feel the same. Just a bit more bumpy. There uh, go. And all the buttons work. My surprise. Yeah, uh, this is the start and backwards button. There, there they are. These are the bumpers. You can see that it. There. You still see the RT in that? Yeah. Um, yeah, LB and RT. These you can still see. The LT is the Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's RT. No, LT. So, yeah, they look so these feel a bit weird, but like not here where you actually get the figures so that's basically our controllers so we'll just gonna show you them when we put them back together after they've dried so uh, yeah we're gonna wait for them a bit longer and then we'll start them back together yo guys what's up uh with another video uh this is our tm test kit um now we're gonna show you our controllers so this one is Tom's very nice. At all. So you have the white gloss finish with the custom blue D-pad and custom blue um, back and start buttons. You have the custom blue bumper with the blue triggers and the blue bottom. So now, yeah. this is mine. I've done a sort of thing of that. So it's a silver and a base coat and everything else is the same with the blue so yeah so that's it thanks for watching and peace <laughs>